How's the line uh, coming together so far? Oh, good. You know, it's two days. It's still without pads on. So a lot, you know, it's going to come out in the next few days once we get the full pads on. But um, it's good. I feel like we're pretty comfortable in the offense. And, um, you know, guys are moving well. Guys are adjusting to, to playing positions. I know Corbett took the one reps yesterday and Kyle took the one reps today. And I think they're just going to be rotating for the first, you know, five, ten days to really try and see who's going to take that spot. Last year, uh, Zeitler uh, um, just kind of... Uh, Offhandedly and uh, in a spontaneous comment, uh, uh, basically said he wishes his, he was as good a player as you. And just you just uh, you know uh, you get after it and uh, your your talent obviously uh, got you drafted pretty high. But uh, uh, the, the question off of that is, uh, uh, do you kind of view yourself at this point in your career as uh, as good as any uh, left guard out there? Um, you know, you watch a lot of film and there's a lot of good players. You know, Quentin Nelson just came to the league and he, he's a heck of a player and and. Uh, you know, there's there's good guards. You know, Zach Martin, I think, you know, a lot of people say is, is the cream of the crop at guard regardless. But um, I think there's a lot of things that guys do well. Like me and Zyler are kind of different players. You know, he's a little bit more of the power guy. I have a little bit more finesse and athleticism. But um, everybody does things really well. And I don't really compare myself in that manner to, oh, who's the best, who's not. It's just, you know, who's playing well this week. And if I see someone that does a good thing against one of the guys we're playing, I'll try and incorporate that in my game. Play different positions so you would have a perspective on uh, his position and uh, what impact uh, the left guard has on a game. Mm -hmm. in, a, in a nutshell, what is that? How does the left guard end? Yeah, I mean, that's game? usually the pass protecting guard. That's usually what you want there. As similar to the left tackle, you want a guy who can pass protect and, and hold his own. And that's a guy, Joel, you can trust him against anybody. Um, and, you know, also having a guy who can pull and move. You can just do so many things with him. Um, it really opens up the playbook of kind of what the team and the scheme can, can use him with. I wanted to ask you about uh, Batonio and uh, what are the sort of things that make him a good player? Uh, yeah, I think fundamentally sound, um, always in the right position. And you know, he's gotten to the point now where he sees things happening before they happen. You know, he, he's seen enough football and seen enough defenses uh, that he understands what's going to happen before the ball snapped, which may, just makes everything easier. Um, you know, when, when you know, all right, this guy's going to slant inside, I don't need to overset here. And, and you just kind of see that stuff happen before it happens. Um, so Joel's just a really smart guy, but also just football savviness. The technique is, is about as good as it gets. What are you trying to accomplish uh, in addition to obviously helping the Browns be a better team and, uh, and make the playoffs? Yeah, it's, it's, you know, we're just trying to improve every day, trying to have the best offense we can out there, and then at the same time compete with the defense. And um, just trying to improve off one another. You know, if, if someone gets the better of the other at practice, then, you know, that, that's good. We're going to learn from that. We're going to watch the film and, and just try to improve so we're the best team.